All right, guys, we are back. Just stepping away from the music for just a little bit because um, you guys know that, I mean, I feel very passionately about local production and I think there's not enough. But it's been happening and the people that are involved in local production, most, if not all, of us do it as a real labor of love sometimes. And when we ride the train... Sometimes it's a lonely train. Um, very few who understand what is involved is involved. And, and it's sometimes just good to share the story so that you understand what we do to sometimes bring to life our stories. Our stories. Because sometimes our stories are not told. I have with me two, two living legends. Let me just go that far because they've been around. One is at least 100. The other one is at about 99, thereabouts, kind of thing. Um, they have been around forever. Well, you could at least say 80. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Closest to me <laughs> is the lovely Daniel Defentala, a local producer here for many, many years. And next to her okay, is an icon. Get the point. <laughs> Icon uh, on the stage and off of it now, uh, Mr. Movin. Let me see if I get the pronunciation of his surname correctly. De Grouch. Very good. Movin De Grouch. That just rolls off my tongue now. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, welcome. Thank you. Thanks um, for having us. So the reason that Daniel and Movin is here tonight, today, uh, this morning, is simply because there's something bubbling in uh, the local production, a new television series that both are working hard on called Plain Sight. Sight. Let's just, before we get into it, take a look at a little tease. Bodies over here, have you seen? James. Sarah. These things take time. Minister, I hold up my end of the bargain. You hold up yours. There you go. Um that's happening now as we speak. This is the pilot that you guys are working on. It's been happening. It's been so, happening. Yeah, we've started this a few years ago. A few years, you're saying that. Years, yeah. We three did, Christmases. I measure them by right, Christmas You trees. did three Christmases ago. <laughs> I started um, about eight years ago, bubbling this idea for the, the concept of plain sight. Um, plain sight starts, let me give you a little quick mm -hmm. background. It starts with uh, what we would always say is some random murder in East Port of Spain, because you know we read it every single day that somebody died in East Port of Spain and that's the end of it. That's where the headline ends, that's what happened, somebody got shot and it's over. What we have done with plain sight is taken that murder on in East Port of Spain, which could be anywhere, um, and shown how that ripples throughout the entire society. Mm. So we connect the dots for, from that murder on St. Paul Street that seems to be a random murder, but then it goes right through the society, the, the, all the repercussions, uh, until it reaches the Prime Minister's office. Um, our Prime Minister's office, in right. plain sight. Yes. Our, our fictional Prime Minister. Right, right. fictional Prime Not necessarily Dr. Keith Rowley. No. no. <laughs> this started way, way belong. Oh, way so before, was, yeah, right, right. This is years before. and years and yeah. years ago yeah, that yeah. we're talking about. Very afraid of. Um, a lot of it is, uh, what we do is go behind the headlines, yeah, yeah. basically. That's yeah. what we're trying to do. We're also trying to put a face and a, and a soul to everyone. To people, yeah. To whether they're villains or whether they're or villains, heroes. whether they're heroes, um, whether you know, just ordinary people. We want 
us to understand each other. Yeah. Because I think there's a lack of, of discussion amongst ourselves now uh, about who we are and as people. And what are we, uh, we are evolving uh, in. Yeah, yeah. And, and, yes. and that we don't discuss. I mean, we, 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 there's a suspicion amongst people now um, that is becoming worldwide, not just in Trinidad, I find now with, you know, that. Well, with social media, everybody just adds something to it. Yeah. And it's, it's just gossip and innuendo, and yeah. we're losing sight of the facts. And you know, yeah. we, so we're, we're trying to a add time. a little background, right. and we're going behind the headlines. Got you, got yeah. you. I, I like it. Um, Moving is is writing this one. Moving and I are writing. We're well, both writing. We're, yeah. we're writing as a team. Um, we had a group of other people come in as well and write with us, right. and that's how we're going to do it. We'd been working um, a lot with um, Hal Graves before his death. Oh. Yeah. So that was. So like, that's how long hmm. it goes back. Yeah. 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 He, he, he's he's actually he actually appears in, in. in the pilot. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Wow. The last thing. Wow. The last thing. Uncle Hal. We're talking. Uncle Hal. Yeah. 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 Uncle wow. Hal. Uncle Hal had been with us for. Um, for, well, years. I mean, yeah. this has been going on for years, and we've been talking and, and learning and understanding. Because this was off his alley. And, oh, right, uh, yeah, 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 he was yeah, the one yeah, who introduced yeah, us yeah. to all the communities that we shot in. Yeah. Like, we shot the pilot in St. Bob's and put um, St. Paul Bob's, Street, um, yeah. Carnage, Shilots, um, and Uncle Hal was the one who basically he, took us into all the areas yeah. and uh, introduced us to everyone. So, and the people were really very accommodating. A lot of people um, were hired on the set. Wow. We had like um, extras in St. Bob's and in Sea Lot. And um, we everywhere went, we went. Everywhere, everywhere we went, went, we hired people from the area. Mm -hmm. We even have a fisherman from Karanash who's now a big star. My pose raised a little while ago is <laughs> because, as you said, Uncle Hal, um, Copper Joe is probably just about four years over four years old, and he appeared mm -hmm. in our first year, and I think it was yeah probably around that time. I think he may have been yeah. doing. It was twenty sixteen that yeah. we we shot the pilot. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and he, that was the last thing he did. He, yeah. he died two weeks after. He, wow, yeah. wow, wow, wow. And he appears in our first minute. Yeah. So we beat your first year. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <mother. laughs> but guys, um, I know that this is is is, is no easy task. You are. As I said years in shooting a pilot, planning a series. It's going yeah. to be a television series. It's a television series. We got a, a little bit of a setback because, I, as I said, um, three Christmases ago, since yeah. 2015, mm -hmm. I pitched this to a distributor in Toronto, mm -hmm. and he loved it. He is Canadian, has nothing to do with Trinidad, just thought, wow, this mm -hmm. is amazing. Mm -hmm. And so he said, go and do the pilot. And I had cast um, Winston Duke, who is now of the Black Panther fame. Are you serious? Yeah. And I cast And he came and he was Winston. on the show? No, he was no, no, going no, no, no. to come he and was, be on the show. But he was doing something that he couldn't tell anybody he about. He couldn't tell which anybody about out. something he was doing. No, man. And, um, and no, he was coming. And then our funding got tied up a little bit. And it became a little messy. And then when I called him and said, OK, we're ready for you, he's like, girl. Mm -mm. <laughs> but he still couldn't tell yeah. us what it was. No, he, right. he couldn't say. And he said, Because that um, funding not going to compare to this funding. <laughs> so he's been sucked up in the yeah. Marvel Universe. And but he, he loved the script a lot and, and wanted to do it. And I'd seen him on um, Persons of Interest, which is how I, I got onto him. Right, right. Um, oh and my. I was looking for that level of Trinidad um, talent yeah. out there. Yeah. Trinidad and Tobago. Um, this sounds fantastic. So what, I mean, 